What's up? This 2013 Fiat 500 only has a summer tire set, but winter is coming and safety is very important, so today we're going to restore a set of wheels to prepare the Fiat for winter. To find out which wheels, you must look in the car's documents. For this Fiat 500 it's possible to drive on 15 or 14 inch, the dimensions for the wheels are 5.5J and an ET35. Tire size required is 175 on 65 14 and a load index of 82 or higher. Top speed of the 500 is 160 km per hour, so the speed index must be T or higher. I bought these used 14 inch wheels for 40 euro. My garage could sell me a new set for 190 euros. That's a saving of 150 euros. But these are summer tires and they're totally worn out. You can see for yourself because there's an indicator on each tire and as you can see the indicator has been reached so they are totally worn out. You can also inspect the production date of the tire, in this case it's on the shoulder and it says 09 which means it's produced in 2009 so they're almost 10 years old. I won't save these tires, these will go to the junkyard, but I will let the tires on the wheels because it's much more easy to stack the tires while repainting. These rims are quite dirty, have some scratches and rust. Especially at this point, it's still shallow so restoring will be no problem. Real dirty, as I have mentioned. First step in preparation is removing this weight. After that we will be washing and removing all of the rust and prepping it for repainting. Removing the weight is an easy job with a flathead, screwdriver and a hammer. Be careful not to scratch the rim too much. When replacing the tire new weights will be applied to balance the wheel. And when we leave the weights on the rim it will prevent me from brushing and repainting the entire rim so that's not a good idea. As you can see it's not that hard. Just pull it off like that so and that's that to distinguish between dirt and rust we'll start off by cleaning the rims thoroughly I'll be using Meguiar's ultimate all-wheel cleaner cost 19 euros 95 cents just soak the wheel and let it sit for three to four minutes this product changes color as it cleans while the product is working you can see the rust is becoming more visible this one is a big spot and there are, are several others, but we'll be dealing with this rust later on in this video. After the cleaning, it's just a matter of rinsing the rim. Real simple. After a short manual cleaning, this is the result. Now we have a clear view of the rust and the places we'll be attacking. On the edge of the rim there is a lot of rust. You can't even see the numbers that identify the wheel. This rust in this edge is probably caused by some bad wheel covers. For this restoring job we'll need some equipment. A pair of strong worker gloves, 3 euro 20 cents. Ear protection comes in handy, 16 euros 95 cents. A dust mask, cost me 4 euros and 30 cents. Eye protection, cost 13 euros 95 cents. You can decide to sand the rims down by hand but this will take a while. It comes in handy to have some sanding paper ready for the hard to reach spots. I'll be using a Dremel with a small metal wire brush cost 3 euro 58 cents. Also excellent for reaching harder to reach spots. But most of the job I'll be using an angle grinder with a metal wire brush. This costs 9 euro 76 cents. And so we are ready to hit the steel. Be sure to always wear the personal protective equipment. The brushing of the rim is not that difficult. Just be sure to not hit the steel with a brush head because this will make deep scratches. Don't brush too long on the same place because this can deform the rim. Be sure to give enough attention to the rusty places because the rusted surface will keep the spray paint from bonding to the rim. It is likely the paint will be chipping after some time. Let's zoom in on some rusty places. This gives a clear view of the wonderful job this brush is doing. After a first brushing the rusty places are still a little bit noticeable. So 
let's give them a second brushing. And after a final brush, you can see the rust is almost gone away. And bam, this is the final result, ready to repaint. But now, let's speed up the process a little bit. As mentioned, the Dremel comes in handy to brush the smaller surfaces. It is not as effective as the angle grinder because it's a softer brush. It's more a finisher after a good preparation. So I prefer the angle grinder for the bigger surfaces. Now this is what a good preparation looks like. All the rust is gone, there are hardly any paint residuals on the rim. This is a good surface to spray paint. As you can see on the edge of the rim, the identification is again visible. Almost brand new. Now it's very important to give this rim a good cleaning before painting. I'm using this Tech 7 Multi Clean. It costs me 6 euros and 88 cents. We'll be cleaning the entire rim to make sure any dirt has been removed. This dirt will keep the paint from bonding. The surface always needs to be decreased as well. It's excellent for preparing surfaces before spray painting, so just let it sit for a few seconds and then just wipe it off. Now all the dirt will come off the rim. As you can see on the towel, in a minute, there is a lot of dirt still on the rim. So, repeat this step until the cloth stays clean after wiping. You can do it three to four times, it's no problem. Now we are ready to hit the paint. When spraying paint, it's important that there's no wind. That's why I looked up a spot out of the wind. We'll start off with this Motif primer, cost 9 euro 66 cents, and then finish up with this Motif black gloss wheel spray, also cost 9 euro 66 cents. The primer will create an even better surface for the paint to stick to, so this will be all new when finished. When spraying, it's important to read the can first. In my case, it says that a distance of 25 cm is required and an operating temperature between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius. While spraying, move in a moderate speed over the rim. Never stop while spraying in an area on the wheel because we want a nice even coat. When finished, repeat in another direction. After a 10 minute dry, we'll repeat with a coat of primer, but now a little bit slower so we get a thicker coat. This time, make sure the primer hits every spot. After another 10 minute dry, this looks already awesome. But now finish off with a third primer coat.
after a two hour resting period the rim is ready for the wheel spray. We are going to repeat the procedure just like we did with the primer. Three coats, thin, thicker and thick. On the left you can see the first coat, up and down. On the right you can see the second coat. After every coat I just wait 10 minutes. Now we are on for the last coat. This is the final result and it looks amazing, definitely when comparing it with the before. You can finish up with a clear coat spray, but we already got a nice shine so I am very pleased. Now it's just getting on some new tires and we're ready. This is a summary of all the costs we made for restoring these wheels. In total this costed 167 euros and 7 cents. In comparison with the new set we saved 22 euros. If you don't have an angle grinder, buying one would be too expensive to start off this job, but for me it worked well. I got a very well result and saved some money. This brings our total money saving DIY to minus 195 euros. Like and share to help others save some money doing this job. If you have some money saving tips, drop them in the comments below. Curious to see what savings I'm up to, just subscribe. Thanks for watching. To finish off, these are the wheels with new Pirelli tires ready for winter.